Hello everyone, welcome back to the 120ist. Just a short video for you this time. Um, I was just recording a review of my Bronica S2 um, and comparing it with the Bronica S2A when I came across a problem. Uh, and that was how to identify which was an S2 and which was an S2A. And I discovered something. And I thought I'd share it with you. And I thought I'd also share with you how you tell the difference between an S2 and an S2A. So this one I bought about a year and a half ago, uh, labelled as an S2. This one I bought about six weeks ago, labelled as an S2A. Uh, and I have since discovered, after starting uh, this review video for the S2, that they're both wrong. This is an S2A. And this is an S2. Um, one way of telling is the serial numbers. So if we look here, just under the waist level finder, so not this number here, that's the serial number for the um, uh, for the film back. But this number that you can see just above my finger here, that is the serial number for the camera. Now the majority of the early S2As would have had this serial number followed by the the letters and numbers S2A. So it would have been letter, letter, six numbers, S2A. However, some don't. And I suspect that's how this camera got misidentified. Um, so if you have S2A written on the serial number there, you've got an S2A. If you don't have S2A, but your serial number is higher than 150,000, you could still have an S2A. I don't think, it's not clear online whether or not they continued making S2As after they, there's my dog, do say hello. It's not clear online whether or not they uh, continued making the S2, the S2 after they introduced the S2A. The S2 was introduced first in 1966. The S2A was introduced in 1969 in answer to problems that people were having with the S2. And those problems were um, that, I think, slightly kind of aggressive uh, photographers working very quickly in, a, in studios and whatnot. Um, had been winding on and, and had managed to strip the teeth um, in the wind-on gear. And so the, the S2A was introduced with more robust internal mechanisms. Now it turns out, it sounds like it's a bit, a bit of an urban myth that in fact the S2 had brass gears um, and the S2A had steel gearing. Um, that sounds like it might have been a myth. It, what it sounds like is in fact the S2 just has smaller toothed gears and the S2A has bigger toothed gears and therefore it's slightly more robust. There may have been other um, improvements as well, I'm not sure. Um, serial number is one way to tell. So if it doesn't say S2A on it, um, but is higher than 150,000, you may still have an S2A. And that's what this one is. So it doesn't have S2A on it, but it does have a serial number of 168,000. Uh, this one that was I was told was an S2A um, has a serial number of 51,000 um, and no S2A marking. So for me, that rules that out as an S2A. There's also, this is another way to tell, your wind-on knobs. The S2, it turns out, was bigger and more conical. If you look at them, you can sort of see in here the, the S2 is, is a much more acute angle than the S2A. Um, another surefire way, I am told, is in here. So if you want to show you the S2 first. And it's just flat there. It's just flat there. There's nothing to, um, nothing to see. A little pocket where the, um, the, the arm winds into. And also an aluminium arm. I don't know if that's a, a, a real telltale sign, the aluminium arm. But I'll show you now the um, centre of the wind-on knob for the S2A. And it has this little um, screw with kind of edge holes for edge pins 
um, in the middle, and that again is apparently a telltale sign of an S2A rather than an S2. And then the final um, giveaway or telltale sign is this is the S2 and it has these what it calls butterfly um, lugs for the neck strap. Very different to what we now find on the S2A, which look like this. So the, the butterfly thing is gone and it's just a uh, kind of slightly sort of mushroom shaped um, uh, knob at the top and no moving parts. And that is the same as what you find on a Bronica EC, which was the newer model and will set you back about, you know, 200% more to get on the used market. Um, so they're the three things. Serial number, screw in the center of the winding knob, and the neck strap lugs. Uh, but yeah, so um, it's uh, my discoveries today have been a bit like winning the lottery. Um, uh, but at the same time, finding out that you have just lost money on the stock market to exactly the same value as you won on the lottery. So I am both elated and disappointed in equal measure. Uh, so I thought that was an S2A. I thought that was an S2. I now know that that is an S2 and that is an S2A. And I prefer this camera anyway, because this is the one I've had for longer. Um, and this has some problems with it. So there will be a review of this camera, the S2A, um, coming very soon. But I just thought I'd share this identifier with you, how to tell the difference between S2 and S2A, because I couldn't find it anywhere else on YouTube. And there is a lot of debate online. So that, that information that I've just given you is from reading almost everything there is to read. Um, uh, and, and deciding that that's probably the answer. That's how you tell the difference. So if you've got an S2 or an S2A, by all means check and confirm what you have. Bye.